Neighbors react to a devastating house fire in El Paso's Lower Valley that killed an elderly couple. It's a story we first brought you as breaking news last night. CBS 4 at 10's Jacqueline Quinones joins us from our newscast control room tonight with an eyewitness account. Neighbors tonight react to the devastating fire that claimed two lives in El Paso's Lower Valley last night. Coming up next, we speak to one man who tried to go in and save one of the victims. They're just images that I'm never going to be able to get out of my head, you know. Deshaun Watson was leaving his bar and walking to a friend's house when he said he heard some noises. I was walking and I thought I heard help. Watson at first ignored the sound, then heard it again and again before he heard a house had caught on fire. And the house is just in flames. It wasn't engulfed, but the the, win the windows were breathing and get over there and they're like the woman is still inside and I look at the windows and I just realize there's, I, I couldn't there's nothing that we could do for her. Watson then saw an elderly man on the patio looking shaken up. So I reached out my hand and he grabbed my hand and he grabbed it so tight like letting me know like I'm you know, and the eye contact, I can't get that out of my head. Watson attempted to help the elderly man, but he said he felt hopeless. And I, I went to pull him, and, and I don't know what happened. I, one second I had him, and then the next second I, I was I fell back. Watson and another neighbor attempted to put a piece of wood on his back to shield him, but had no way of getting it to him because the hot air of the flames kept pushing them back. I couldn't get to him. Fighting back tears, Watson learned the man he tried to save was an army veteran. It's one thing to fail a civilian. It's another, it's another to fail a brother in arms. Bobby Grayson, another neighbor I spoke with, knew the couple personally. Mr. Nielsen was a military gentleman, elderly. Uh, he was on oxygen. Uh, he had sort of like Parkinson. Uh, his wife uh, was a little short, Hispanic woman, very nice. They kept to themselves. We are still waiting to hear the cause of the fire. We'll keep you updated on air and online at cbs4local.com. Reporting in the control room, Jacqueline Quinones, CBS4 at 10.